All week we've been visiting communities across Metro Detroit digging deep into their unique struggles along with the places and people that make each city special. And today we are live in Wyandotte. Demond and Karen, how's it going thus so far, guys? I would say it is just gorgeous right here in this uh, Down River community, Kimberly. We are in downtown Wyandotte. Uh, it is a really big night here. You spend much of your afternoon here as well. Yeah, everybody's talking about how festive it is and how they are prepared to kick off the holiday season with tonight's tree lighting. You know, our team's been spending a lot of time digging into some of the concerns and issues that folks here want covered in addition to what they want to celebrate. And that includes... I'll tell you this, McKinley Elementary School. That school closed 15 years ago. It's set empty ever since, right in the middle of a residential neighborhood. You know, years ago, there were plans on the table to turn that building into a senior housing facility, but neighbors pushed back, saying it just wasn't the right fit for the neighborhood. All right, so now construction is underway to actually transform the building into apartments and condos. You can feel the energy and the excitement from residents and neighbors that we spent some time talking to. Will Jones also spent some time here in the community. He actually spoke with the developer behind the broad project. He is live not very far from our live shot right now in downtown Wyandotte to tell us a little bit more. Hey there, Will. Hi, Karen and Devon. This building will feature 30 units, 15 apartments and 15 condos. This building is so beautiful. I had a chance to go inside with the developer. This building has a lot of history and the developer wants to maintain that history and the transformation. You went to school here. I did, yeah, yeah. Elementary school back in, I don't know, 30 years ago. Now Ron Thomas has big plans for what was McKinley Elementary School in Wyandotte. The school, built in the late 30s, has been closed for about 15 years. Thomas's company, Rise Above Ventures, redevelops blighted or underutilized properties. He plans to turn this 59,000 square foot building into housing. We bought it for a dollar, uh, which sounds crazy, but the, the city was in a position of knocking it down at a cost of maybe $2 million and then only able to sell the land, so it would have been a real big loss for the taxpayers. When it finished, the building will have 30 one to three bedroom units, half of them condos, the other half apartments. Thomas took us inside for a tour while the rehab is getting underway. Tell me what you imagine here. Well, the, the main corridors here are, are nice and going to be salvages and used. Like the floors beneath us, like I said, they'll, they'll clean up beautifully. And this is the kind of stuff that you can't install anymore just because it's so expensive to do. Thomas says he wants to maintain some of the school's history. So one of my favorite features about the building is the uh, artwork here on the walls. This is all done by students back before the building closed. And it, it's a bunch of images of buildings actually here in town and what they were 20 years ago. Jill Vialba's fiance lives across the street from the former school. Her dad attended McKinley. We need something to be done with it because otherwise it's just deteriorating. I have some personal history with the building and I, I just can't wait for the day, which hopefully end of next year I can walk through and, and just see this brought back to life. So we are in the back of the school and the back of the school has a playground and for people who live in this community, this uh, playground is going to stick around. I thought I was going to hurt myself there. I'm glad I didn't. So this is going to be a park for residents to use. And that is very important to residents to have this gathering space. And I want to talk about that field area over there. There are going to be some single family houses here. So a lot of excitement for this project. Construction is underway right now. And I'm going to send it back to you, Karen and Demont. Hey, Will, I, get, I give you credit. You can't resist a slide in the middle of a playground, right? You've got kiddos. You understand. You know, Will's a jokester. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. that must be him putting in reps for the giant slide because, you know, earlier during the summer, he challenged me to that giant slide. <laughs> he didn't quite make it down there, so now he got the little mini slide. I got you, Will. I got you. <laughs> yeah, well, and the speed is not too bad tonight. here. <laughs> You're holding your own. All right, thanks, Will. 